let's talk about what we're really here for. You know, Lux listings. I'm sure so many people in the audience have watched Lux listings. It's currently one of Amazon Prime's top performing TV shows yes. globally. And I think there is a third season planned. Uh, season three is come, I think, I believe it's in October. Ah. Uh, September, October. Yeah, it's already planned and it's going to go out and it's going to be more fun, you know, yeah. because everybody is like, what well, kind of we know what we do now and um, yeah. yeah, more experienced and yeah, I've got something planned. It, it's mm -hmm. going to be fabulous. Absolutely. So how yeah. did you get approached to be part of this TV show? So I think uh, I was actually pro uh, got approached about five years ago. So I was in the pilot show for season one. Okay, so I, but I was not sure, you know, so because I I have my brand, I'm not desperate for fame. So mm. when I was approached for season one, I said, you know what? I, I don't really know what the show is all about. Reality show can build you, I can destroy you, right? So yes. I, I'm not. I don't want to be one of these like crazy rich Asian or a housewife type of show. And so uh, that's why I just said no. So sometimes you have to learn how to say no. Yeah. Okay. And then somebody, please come. But I was helping them to go to the pilot because the pilot show will uh, get them to pitch with Amazon or what other, you know, a major network. Mm. And I was there and I, the executive producer that my friends. And um, I watched the season one finish. I said, oh, okay, the show is actually not great, but not too bad. So it's not... <laughs> Nothing negative, but it's very much like Eastern suburb based show. So for yeah. me, so my, my, my backyard is the Eastern suburbs, but I saw, you know, a lot of things like up on North Shore, lower North Shores, and even South, right? I thought mm. if I be part of it, I can bring uh, some to showcase the, the Sydney to the world with the different properties. That's why I agreed to go to season one, season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, season one is very east and suburbs oriented. It was yeah. very much, you know, Double Bay, Rose Bay, Bondi, that type of thing. So actually watching season two, I loved that there was representation from, you know, the north of Sydney. And, mm -hmm. you know, just between us two, I feel like you've made the show a hundred times better. Hashtag humble, and I, I think that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Very I'm humble. Really yeah, <laughs> I, I bring a little bit of lux into the show because I, I understand what luxury is all about. It's not just a house. If, you, if it's a house, of course, we have to showcase the luxury houses, right? Mm. And again, you know, about personal, you know, if you're successful, of course, you people watch, people in that league watch what you wear, what you, you know, um, you know, talk about bags, shoes, and lifestyle and things like that so i brought a lot of like different angle into the show yeah and i feel like for myself and I'm, I'm sure for a lot of people in the audience today um what you really brought was you know east asian representation as the east asian face what do you hope to achieve on this show i think it's kind of like um it's a privilege somehow Right, because that's give us opportunity to to represent my culture, my my Asian, you know, community. I have a sense of a responsibility for everything I do because I'm not just representing myself. Mm. I'm a woman, woman in business, and of course migrants and the, with the Asian ethnic backgrounds. So you know, give me a sense of responsibility to re representing the Asian community. So I, I think that's made the show absolutely great. Yeah. And I'm a really appreciate what Amazon has done as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the whole thing is just is fabulous. I, I completely agree. And it's it's quite an interesting thing to feel responsibility on your shoulders because you're representing all of these different minorities. So you said women in business, um, Asians, East Asians. I think it's lovely that you're on the show and really representing the Asian community, the Chinese community, because what I felt in the show was a lot of the storylines that they gave you was a great opportunity to show Chinese culture. So I don't want to give away too many spoilers for those who haven't watched it, but there is a scene where you hosted a hot pot and yeah. I was like, this is brilliant. You know, there's storylines that aren't just about luxury houses, even though that is what we all watch it for. But these little sort of cultural things in there where you talked about sort of Chinese feng shui, where you, um, you know, there was that hot pot scene. As an Asian, as a Chinese person, I'm like, 
I know that, like I've done that before. And the multi, my parents drink that. And it was, <laughs> it's so funny to see. And it's like, I'm like, I feel so happy to be represented in this Australian TV show, in this Sydney-based TV show. And it really hit close to home. So thank wow, you for that. <laughs> well, I, I think, yeah, that's, that's really good. That makes that show very interesting. It's a little bit like a cultural appreciation, right? So, you know, like they give us an opportunity to showcase what we normally do. It's just a normal family dinner. So the hot pot become a big thing. Everywhere people go, Monica, why are you going to have your hot pot? That's like, what? So I was thinking about, you know, so maybe if I have time, I will host one of the biggest hot pot, the world's biggest hot pot <laughs> gathering for charity, right? So I think yeah. it would, it, they will come, you know, people will come and pay and uh, it's actually a great showcase of our culture, right? So Absolutely. You food, you have all choices of whatever you like to eat absolutely so, uh, people love it going off of um the topic of hot pot i'm just curious personally what is mm. your broth and what's your favorite hot pot thing oh, i love like a really spicy mala, mala. Mm. Like, you know like, spicy and hot mala tong. <laughs> that's what it is right mala. Malatang, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, we're southeast of, of southwest of China, so near Sichuan, so where mm. the hot pot originated. Yes. So, yeah, it has to be really spicy. Very nice. With <laughs> Lux Listings, do you have any funny stories that happened during the filming? Talk about the hot pot, right? The Simon came and took with Jane with his mother. So mom is, like, absolutely amazing, right? And mom is willing to try everything. Uh, and with the Siamese, it's just like a spoiled bride, to be honest, right? But, yeah, <laughs> you know, if people invite you for dinner, just like a courtesy, you have to be like respectful. You know, they, they're just are so scared to try anything, mm. which is really annoying. But yeah. for all the for audience out there, even you go to a different culture, even my husband's Lebanese, right? But sometimes I go to Lebanese restaurant, even I don't like it, but I will give it a go. Mm. So that's the beauty of the, you know, just let, maybe you love it. So mm. why don't we take the best, like anything in life, right? You give a go, it's not going to kill you. So for, for everybody who's listening, you know, I really encourage you because this, Australia is a multicultural society, which is the beauty. You never find anywhere in the country. So mm. I'm 60, I travel very well. I mm. mean, you, you name the country, probably I've already been there. But if you go to a different environment, different culture, just give it a go. To be honest, it's to your own benefit. Yeah. At least if you know what you're talking about. So, All right, I don't want to try that. Just, just. <laughs> If you think about just think about Simon, right? Like the spoiled brat. Right? <laughs> That's hilarious, and it it's actually quite interesting because I feel like your philosophy on that hot pot really matches your philosophy with your career. So take any opportunity given to you give it a go, give it a shot. And I think that's that's very Aussie, hey, because it's an Australian value just to give it a go, you know? So I agree with you. 